So last night, I may have broken the tractor. Uh, I heard a pop and then a grinding noise, and it was right at dark. I had to quick put away the tools because a thunderstorm was coming. Uh, so this is the next morning now, uh, daylight. I've got a chance to open up the tractor and look inside. And I guess the good news is that the transmission is not trashed. Instead, right down here on the jack shaft, if you look at the sprocket, neither of those set screws lines up with the, uh, the keyway in the jack shaft so apparently what happened was the actual key popped out and then the sprocket just spun like crazy right on that shaft uh, so the good news is all i have to do is line it back up get it back in there tighten down those set screws and this time probably use some uh, uh maybe put a second uh set screw in there to lock it down make sure it can't loosen up uh, this also did mean that uh, I was not able to enter this in the junk parade. We did get to go to the junk parade. We got to see a lot of uh, junk floats, and we attended, but as uh, spectators instead of as a participant. So after that, I did keep working on the tractor. I pulled off the foot pedal, uh, both parts of it, the, the moving part, and then also the, the fixed right angle plate, and cleaned them up. Uh, got a coat of primer on there, and then after that, some nice black paint. After the paint had dried and some reassembly, it was time for some fun, including testing a wheelie. After my first wheelie test on this tractor, I decided it wasn't going high enough. So what I've done is I've got the tractor in the garage. I hooked it up uh, to the front by a chain up to an engine hoist. So my idea here is I can jack up the tractor as high as I want to go, uh, hold it there with the engine hoist, and then weld up the wheelie bar. That's about 16 inches of ground clearance right there. Next, I clamped down the parts that I was going to be welding together, lowered the front of the tractor, and then set to welding. After welding, I tested again by completely raising the front of the tractor so all the way to the tractor was on this bar. Uh, after that, I lowered it back down and I test fit, making sure that the wheelie bar was still easy to remove and reinsert. That's what the tractor looks like in the raised position lifted up by the engine hoist. Should be a heck of a wheelie popping machine now. Okay, well I do gotta say this is a lot of fun, but I still need to install a battery charger, uh, a little bit of paint here and there, uh, find the top speed on this thing, and I'm definitely gonna have to make a video of just popping wheelies. Uh, so if you like, please uh, check it out, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.